an awful lot in the film about how a billion lives really matter. And there's a number of people, a lot of people in this room, who've done an awful lot to actually show that a billion lives matter through their advocacy, through their passion, and through their belief in a better way of doing things and more honesty in science. And I'd like now to invite Mirak Dvorak, who is one of, as I said before, one of Poland's leading vapors, and who actually looks a lot younger tonight than he did on the film. Um, he's going to say a few words about the film, and then he's going to present three very special awards to the vaping advocates of the year. Hello, everybody. Well, I guess that I would just say a few words about the communities. Because this film was about the communities. The community of vapors, the community of big pharma, and the community of big tobacco. And I'm pretty sure that the community of vapors would be thankful to Aaron for this film. But the community of big tobacco and the community of big pharma wouldn't. So if I were you, I would just, you know, hire some professionals. <laughs> okay. And now, let me say something about the Vaping Advocate of the Year, 2016. There are three persons that are honored today. The first is Mr. Stefan Didak for his dogged determination to spread the truth about vaping in a landscape where truth seems to be a rare and undervalued commodity. The second one is Louise Ross for not taking the easy route and thereby showing the world what compassion, empathy and an open mind can achieve. The third one is Clive Bates. For his tireless and passionate defending of junk science and commitment to ensuring that tobacco harm reduction receives the attention it deserves in policy considerations worldwide. Okay. <laughs> I think every one of these people is well known to an awful lot of people in this room and I think each one of them richly deserves the awards that they've been given. Now, there is one award which we hadn't announced and uh, I'd like to ask the rest of the crew for A Billion Lives to join Aaron because you've seen that A Billion Lives has been given a number of awards, you'll have seen that from the posters and it's been entered for a lot more awards. So. We kind of thought we should do something to give them an award for what they've done for us. And we wanted to do something unique. No Oscars for us. No British Academy Awards. We've named ours after one of the United Kingdom's most prominent and outspoken vapors, Mr. David Dawn. And many of you will know him from Vapor Trails TV. And many more of you will just know him, and some of you will probably not wish to know him. <laughs> but we've fashioned an award in Dave's image, and he's, and he's got it in a rather attractive brown paper bag. And we'd like to present this to Aaron and Paul at, at uh, the conference.
don't worry about don't worry about setting the alarms up when you go through customs or security because it's made of plastic. <laughs> I hope that it's something that you you like. Uh, and it's, it's certainly something that is actually sincerely awarded on behalf of the conference. And we're so grateful, as I said before, for you to come here and have the European premiere. And I hope that, along with some colleagues in the UK, that my organisation will be able to organise for a premiere to take place there before much longer. So, that's it for now, folks, unless Aaron wants to say a few words and thank his mother and his father. And... <laughs> no no uh, thanks like that, but uh, this is a big honor from uh, our crew. We're very thankful for it, and uh, we are ready to, uh, to continue the fight. But uh, before we do too much fighting, let's uh, celebrate tonight. Cheers. Yeah. from here and not far from the Marriott Hotel and that's the formalities finished. Enjoy yourselves this evening because there's two very, very long days ahead. Thank you.